Hey, what's up? AC here for part three of my industrial craft tutorial. Um, this part is on tools, as promised in the last video. Um, as you can see, I've got them all lined up down here already. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump straight in and I'll show you, first of all, uh, how you make them. So, this being, this probably being the first tool that you'll make in industrial craft, because, well, it's the most helpful, really. Um, the mining drill, made with five refined iron, a circuit, and a battery. That's quite annoying. Um, sorry about that. Um, it's basically an iron pickaxe. It will pick up everything um, except obsidian. And but the uh, the good thing about it is it'll also pick up dirt and gravel and stone. Uh, so yeah, it'll do it does everything really. It's like a shovel and a pickaxe mixed into one. Um, quite helpful. Really quite helpful, which is why it'll probably be the first thing you'll get. Um, but you'll, you'll upgrade that near instantly because, obviously, it's faster to have a diamond one. Uh, just put three diamonds around it. And you can also pick up obsidian with this, so, yeah. Definitely helpful. And, of course, both of them can be run off electricity instead of just... Uh, wearing down your durability and then just disappearing basically so yeah a lot better than using a pickaxe and shovel and you've got your chainsaw which uh, obviously comes in for wood because your drill doesn't um, made the same way as before just set out a little differently five refined iron a circuit and uh, a battery which is the same as that it's just set out sort of diagonally um, and obviously that's for wood and it's the same again it runs off electricity I'll show you all of these in a minute though, I should probably mention. Your mining laser. Um, yeah, very fun item. Made with an advanced circuit, four advanced alloys, two energy crystals and a piece of redstone. Probably won't be one of the first thing you'll make, but still very fun, very useful. I'll, uh, I'll get to showing you that in a minute and what that's all about. Yeah, the electric jetpack does basically as it sounds, it's a jetpack, so obviously you can fly, everyone knows what a jetpack does. Um, bat box, four refined iron, advanced circuit, two, uh, two glowstone dust. And I'll show you that in a minute as well, because that's quite helpful early early game. Um, the bat pack. Now, as I said, all of these, well, except that, but I'll show you them in a second. All of these uh, run off electricity. And as you can see here, this has got a bit of durability on it, wearing down a bit. Um, and they wear out quite fast, especially the diamond drill while you're mining. So what you want to get is basically a store of energy that you can carry around on your back, um, which your diamond drill will take energy from. So obviously there's your backpack. That's where your backpack comes into. Quite helpful, really. Very quite helpful, especially when you're mining. You don't want to be running out midway through a mining session and, you know, getting stuck down there and whatnot. whatnot. Um, I'm going to guess because I'm not entirely sure I think it I think the backpack holds 30 uh, 30,000 EU or maybe it's 10 no I think it's 10,000 yeah I was well off I th I'm sure it's 10,000 EU but whatever it holds energy for you very useful now you can upgrade that to a lap pack which I think holds a million EU um, quite expensive though if you're running low on lapis uh, six lapis blocks, a backpack and an advanced circuit will get you a lap pack um, but obviously runs out a lot slower, a lot more useful than your backpack um, definitely needed sort of late game when you're mining a lot then you have your insulation cutters which is down here the only one of these items which isn't um, run off electricity um, two iron ingots and three refined iron. That basically takes your insulation off your wires, which I will show you. I've got it waiting there to be set up. Um, right, your nano saber is basically your your sword. Obviously, you've got your drill. Your so you've got your pickaxe, your shovel, and your uh, your axe here. Here's your sword, your nano saber, which as you can see lights up, lights all pretty colours and yeah. Um, carbon plates, advanced alloys, energy crystal, two glowstone. 
quite expensive, probably not something you'll get early on, but very useful. Um, so yeah, that's a definite, I'll show you that in a minute as well, obviously. Then you have your electric wrench, I suppose I should have shown you the wrench as well. Um, your wrench is made with six pieces of bronze there, 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 and there. And that gets you this wrench here. Oh, hang on, I can do that. Yeah, there you go. That's how you make your wrench. And your wrench is basically used to take up items, um, industrial craft items. If you've been playing with it and you haven't used a wrench to pick up things before, you'll notice that it doesn't drop the items that you had. Say you have a solar panel, you break it with a pickaxe it will drop a machine block. Quite annoying actually. That's where your wrench comes into play. But your wrench only has a certain percentage that it will drop a solar panel or I don't know, um, any, any of the other items like um, an induction furnace. So that's where you... so yeah, not too efficient. So then you get your electric wrench uh, made with a circuit, a battery and your wrench. Uh, again, runs off power. But with your electric wrench, you have a lossless wrench mode, which basically means when you right click on something to pick it up, like you would with a wrench, when this is enabled, it will mean that you definitely get your item back. So that's very helpful, but it will use a lot more power, which is the only downside. But what's it matter? It's better than you having to make a new, I don't know, induction furnace or solar panel, isn't it? So, yeah helpful and you access that by pressing well holding down M and right clicking and if you right click again you know, there you go um, yeah then you have your electric tea, tree tap which just all it sounds it's a tree tap but it runs off electricity uh, there it is I'll show you that in action just right click on your rubber and there you go you get some rubber I don't think there's any more is there no but, um, yeah that's pretty much all there is to it then this last one here, the electric hoe, two refined iron, a circuit and a battery. It's just a hoe, runs off electricity. Right click about, there you go. It hoes out the land for you. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I will show you how to, uh, how to charge one of these up. You can use an MFSU or an MFE for all of them. Your bat box can do most of them, but it can't charge up your lap pack, your mining laser. I think that's it actually. It can't charge up those two. Um, this is how you charge up an item. You just put it in your top slot here and it will take the energy out of whatever storage unit you're using. It'll fill it up as you can see the green bar at the bottom there. Um, and once it's full, there we go. Take it straight out of there. Ooh. And your jet pack, I'll show you these two actually. They uh, they all go in your torso slot, your armor, body armor slot. Same with the backpack and the jetpack. The jetpack, when you've got it on, obviously put it on there. Um, just hold down space and you'll fly. <laughs> so yeah, quite fun. Um, and again, M and right click. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, just M. And you go into hover mode, which is quite helpful. Um, it's really quite helpful actually if you're mining out like the side of a cliff not being in hover mode can be quite annoying you got to sort of balance it with uh, with hover mode it's quite easy so yeah um, be careful with that though you do get fall damage from that you do get fall damage quite bad uh, so yeah make sure you're being careful when you use that jetpack but still very cool item um, right I'll start with the drill as I said, it goes through dirt, so there you go, drill going through dirt, but it also goes through stone, and ores, and obsidian, and gravel, all that sort of stuff. Basically anything you find in the ground it'll go through, so really helpful. I mean obviously it's not going to go through lava and stuff like that, that's just ridiculous. But yeah, and the chainsaw goes through trees, obviously. There you go. That's a chainsaw in action. And these do all have sounds, but I've just got them turned off. It lags me out quite a bit. Um, obviously, if you've got a better computer than me, which you probably have, uh, you can have the sounds on and it won't lag you out. So, yeah, feel free to check the sounds out. Quite cool, actually. 
Um, I'll get to the mining laser in a minute. I'll do these insulation cores first. Um, so yeah, obviously as I said, if you get four times HV cable and you don't actually want it like that, say you wanted it two, just you know, there you go. Left click it and you get your rubber back and there you go. Two times. If you want it one times, and then if you just want normal HV cable, so yeah, that's all there is to it. And you get all your rubber back. Or maybe you just misplaced HV cable and you want your rubber back, but you want to leave the HV cable there for some reason. Not that I'd know why, but I'm not questioning it. So, um, mining laser. I'll come to your mining laser last, actually. Uh, nano saber. I'll show you the nano saber. Let me just uh, spawn a couple of spiders in. There you go. Now, you have to have your nano saber on like that. Otherwise, for example, one, two, three, four hits there to kill a spider. Whereas, if you have it on, not only does it look pretty, you can, uh, there you go, pretty much one shot everything. Ooh, wrong button. There you go, one shot in when it's on, so, yeah, make sure you keep it on. <laughs> it, uh, it would help. Um, right, yeah, now the mining laser. So, what mode am I in? Right, your default mode is mining, so, oh, rain as well, nice one. There you go, default mode is mining. Um, it will go through anything, but it could also destroy the item that you're shooting at. So, if you are mining, just be careful about that. Obviously, you don't want to be shooting at diamonds and then losing them, because that would be quite annoying. Um, so yeah, your basic mode, mining, there as you can see, goes a fairly long way. Not too far. It'll also, it's probably, no, will will off shoot to the side if you shoot it a bit weirdly. It'll go off on a diagonal like that. Um, I'll show you why that's important in a minute. Then you have your low focus mode, which won't go through many really. I'll go through one. Oh, I didn't mean to fall down there. I don't think it goes through more than one. No, nah, just the one. And it won't shoot that far either. Like, I mean, look how far it takes to get to wood. I should probably mention as well, as you can see, as I go to long range, which is obviously long range, it will, uh, it will shoot very far. i shoot over there, you can see. It takes a big chunk out of there. But yeah, it will set trees on fire. As you can see, there's a fire started over there. And there, uh, um, and the fire will obviously spread quite fast through wood. So be careful if you've got a wooden house or something in your demolishing it with a mining laser but yeah long range obviously long way horizontal now as I said down here it will go diagonally horizontal mode won't look obviously I'm shooting this at a, a big angle there no angle too steep here and again oh horizontal obviously can't be stupid me um ooh um nah so obviously horizontal, do like that, I'll go horizontal, if I aim it up a bit, it'll stay horizontal, so yeah, really quite helpful that. Um, next mode, super heat, this basically means if you shoot it at all, it will go through things like this, only one, but if you shoot it at all, it has a chance that it will smelt the item, so obviously if you shoot it at iron ore, you'd get iron ingots out of it, so that can be quite helpful. But I think there's a chance you can lose it, so be careful with that. Then scatter mode, which is what this this big destruction thing here is. So I'll show you that. Yeah. I'm going to be careful with that when you're playing with it in your world. But, um, yeah, good fun, though. Ooh. 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 Anyway. Then explosive. And as you go through through these modes, they gradually get more expensive to use on your electricity explosive being the most so for example yeah basically have a mobile creeper and can shoot at long range <laughs> quite fun lights out a bit oh and it can kill you should probably mention damn there's creepers everywhere ah. get out what's going on <laughs> got myself stuck. Oh no. Oh, it's all good. I think. Ooh, can I make it? Yeah, there we go. 
Anyway, so yeah, that's tools. That was uh, that was part three of my industrial craft tutorial sort of thing. Still don't know what to class it as, but yeah, that was part three of it. And that was on tools, as uh, as said in my last video. Um, my next video, obviously there will be a part four on industrial craft. There's more than just that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be on yet, though. Um, I haven't thought it through. I might do it on crops or something like that. I don't know. There's lots of cool stuff in industrial craft still to uh, still to explore, really. So yeah, um, make sure to come check back for part four at some point. Thank you for watching. If you haven't watched part one and two, feel free to go back and check them out. Tell me what you think. But yeah. Um, Thanks for watching, I've been AC and I will see you soon.